was something beautiful to watch. Unbelievable how this guy makes people miss. When you put the ball in his hand, he was magic. I was good, everyone. So today I want to do a video on one of my favorite jerseys. Um, I'm a huge Dallas Cowboy fan. So when it comes to football jerseys, it's hard for me to collect other players. I actually don't own any other football jerseys other than like Ohio State jersey um, because I'm from Ohio State. I mean, I love the football jerseys. There's a couple other players that I would collect, but it's so hard. I mean, I'm just like a diehard uh, Dallas Cowboy fan. But um, I looked all over YouTube. I only seen a couple of videos on the jersey and they were old. Um, King Laurinaitis, he did do a video with his Deion Sanders jerseys with his jersey in it, but he didn't really review it, but shout out to him. He's really good. Um, he's got tons of jerseys. I mean, anything that you're looking for, he usually has it. So check out this jersey. Um, it's a Mitchell and Ness authentic Emmett Smith jersey. So you're gonna have the stars on the shoulder. Then you're gonna have this Dallas Cowboy logo on the front. Uh, number 22 everything is single stitch um, which I'm surprised because most of the authentics are usually um, double stitch so turn over to the back you got Emmett Smith now Mitchell Ness re uh, released his jersey before and when they released it before it didn't have the E dot Smith it just says Smith so they redid it. It says one of my favorite jerseys. I remember it from the Little Giants when I um, yeah, Emma Smith was just a just a beast, man, when it came to uh, running back. He is the NFL lead rusher. I know a lot of people say that um, Barry Sanders is the best, but he didn't play as long, and we can't always go on what ifs. But I mean, Barry Sanders, I watched some of his old highlights and he was like poetry in motion. So, I mean, I give credit where it's due. He is one of the great. All right, also, I wanted to give y'all some tips on how I store the, my authentics. Um, so I always use like a hanger, a wooden hanger, like a nice hanger to hang them up. And then also too, if these plastic bags like that you get from when you go to the uh, dry cleaners, never, I don't dry clean my jerseys, but I do store them in this bag. So that way, like if it's white, it can kind of preserve the white and stuff like that. So this is a tip that I'm sharing with you guys. watching the video thanks for the love the support uh, give me a follow on instagram at bullhead23 i'm out